welcome to another weekly vlog. In my last vlog, I ended off with us starting the adventure challenge. This is our first challenge of the book and we're really excited. We just secured our bag from Harris Teeter. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll have it linked below. We're about to roll the dice to find out where we're gonna eat our food. It's gonna be a surprise. It says to roll the dice at least six times and find somewhere that looks nice, right? That's right. We made a list of six things and we rolled the dice three times to pick three items from the list and we ended up getting a sub, a kombucha, and some popcorn. Make sure you're following me on all social platforms and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. The rules say roll a one to two for right turns, three to four for left turns, and five to six for staying straight. So we're gonna start when we come out of here, yeah? Yeah, just don't go. Okay. This is fun. We have the dice up here. All right, ready? Here we go. Yeah. Two. That's, That's right. uh, yeah. Okay. Shit. Hopefully we don't end up on the side of the road somewhere. All right, so at the next intersection, we're taking left here, and then the one after that. Ba -da -ba -bum. Another right. Two, okay. To the left, to the left, everything you hold in the box to the left. <laughs> we're in a quaint neighborhood. We've never been over here before, right? Hit a cold us out. Okay, <laughs> so now we're kind of. This is crazy. Going backwards now. <laughs> we're going to take a left, so we're going to backtrack right. to where we oh, No. <laughs> well, well, how many turns have we had so far? Was that six? Like four or five. All right, let's do two more and then let's just find. Let's just pull over because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So we ended up coming to Shelly Lake instead because we were just in a residential area and um, it took us to a dead end and we figure we can go for a walk after we're done eating. So this is yeah, perfect. Are you on these tables? Um I don't want to, do you think there's mosquitoes? I don't want to get bit. Oh she has a cute dress, yeah. Maybe in the car. Oh the salad, it's leaking. Did she give us napkins? Fuck. How do we forget to get napkins? Here you go, baby. Hey, flinging onions at me. I am? Where? <laughs> you just flung it at me. I thought the onions were going to be red and chopped up. My bad. We're going to have onion breath after this. Cheers. How is she doing it? Was she doing it like... Does it look weird? Do I get all your hands? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. That's a little weird. <laughs> uh, because yeah, it's like I think it's too it's too low, right? What yeah. Well, I'm saying the like the, the bar is too low. Like her bar is higher, right? Oh wow, queen! Do something with that left arm. This one? Yeah. Like put it down on the thing. Like this? Yeah, that's better, I think. Yeah, it's this hand. Right? <laughs> What should it be like it that? Looks like hand from uh, my strong hand from Adam's family. It's, no, it's almost really cute. We're walking our lunch off now, and I think we're gonna get some ice cream after. <laughs> he never wants to be in my vlogs. My cameraman, my Instagram husband. We're looking at the Mandela Effect examples on his phone right now, and this one is Fruit of the Loom logo. So let me see, it's like, what? what's the difference? Fruit of the Loom? Yeah, like cornucopia. Thing. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna say the left, right? Nope. <laughs> I guess because it reminds me of Thanksgiving, so I feel like it's the left. Cheese its or cheese it <laughs> Oh, um, cheese it just IT. Yeah, you're right. Right? Okay. Yeah, another one was the Kit Kat. Like, is there a hyphen? And there's no hyphen. So, I got that one wrong. Apparently, C3PO has a silver leg and he's not all gold. Like, what? This is news to me. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. Liar. <laughs> Hold on. What's the difference? Let me see. The Flintstones. What's the difference? I didn't see. It's Flintstones or Flintstones? The flint stones, flint stones, uh, the flint, the flint, the left, the flint stones, right? Nope, it's the second the one. The flint stones? What the fuck? 
<laughs> My whole life was a lie. <laughs> apparently, I've never seen Star Wars. Mm. Yeah, apparently, apparently, Darth Vader doesn't say Luke, I am your father. He just says, I am your father, right? No. Oh, well, what did he say? No. What? He's, I am your father. He says no. He says, no. I am your father. Oh, right. I thought he said Luke this whole time. Yeah. So I had something mm. done <laughs> the geese whisperer. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can do our first dance. It's been a little over a year now, so we're back at the same place that we used to come and practice before our wedding. This is the first time we've been back since. Well, this is the first time we've been back to do the dance here. So. I don't know where I can put my camera without it falling. <laughs> we just hung my camera from a tree because there was no other place to put it so I could get us. Thanks to you, babe. Innovative. <laughs> Um, we forgot a lot of the moves, but I think we did pretty good. Not the big ones. Considering we haven't watched back our full wedding dance, right? Mm -hmm. I think we need to watch back our full wedding dance and then we can definitely remember all of the steps. That's where my camera was hanging from, <laughs> the branches. I want to get some ice cream now. <laughs> It's Monday, I just finished filming some content. I'm taking a little break because I just got a package in the mail from Amazon. I know, I'm addicted, I have a problem, but I've been wanting these bowls for a while. I've seen them all over TikTok. I feel like I say that every time I try to validate an Amazon purchase. Two polished cocoa bowls, so they're bowls made from actual coconuts, which is really cool. These are giving me Tulum vibes, that's what they remind me of. Rub coconut oil or flaxseed oil over bowl every 10 to 20 uses. Dang, these are high maintenance. And it even comes with a little recipe card. How cool. I've been into yogurt bowls lately, so I wanted to get these to add to the aesthetic. I think it's just so cool that they're made from real coconuts. You have the choice to get a polished finish or a natural finish. I got the polished finish. I think the natural finish is gonna be more rough. I wanna make a smoothie bowl with this blue spirulina. I haven't even opened this yet. Yes, I'll have these linked in the description if you're interested as well. Not bad for my first try, but definitely could have been better if I added some strawberries. It's not that good because I think I added too much spirulina. My husband said it's Cookie Monster Blue. He tried it and he doesn't like it either. I blended almond milk, frozen banana, and frozen mango. And I think I should have used coconut milk instead of almond milk. It's a little soupy too. I could have added a little bit more mango. If you've had spirulina before, you know it kind of has like a weird smell and like a taste. and. What's coming through in this. We found a new park because I was looking for a place to take some pictures in my new dress. And now we're going to the gym. I brought my workout clothes with me. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
I got this four ingredient brownie recipe off of TikTok and it was disgusting, okay? I mean, I should have known there's no added sugar, there's no flour. My husband and I ate like half of them because of the chocolate chips, but other than that, they're pretty bad. I'm upset that she wrote it's the best brownie recipe because that's so misleading. It's not the best. I was just trying to be healthy and make, you know, a healthy dessert alternative and the only thing that's good about this recipe are the chocolate chips and you have to put a lot. There's so much cacao powder that they taste bitter and um, I would say maybe there needs to be more than three bananas, but yeah, don't make this recipe. I read some of the comments, but I should have like read more because after finding out how bad these are, I was looking through the comments and a lot of people were saying that they're bitter and nasty. So there you have it. A TikTok recipe fail. <laughs> I'm gonna do caramel walnut turtle. It's Thursday, I just finished filming some branded content for Peter Thomas Roth. Now I'm about to film a hairstyle. So I'm gonna give you a little BTS. I've been doing my hair tutorials in my bathroom lately and it's a big switch up because I used to do all of my tutorials at my desk. I think I like shooting them in my bathroom more because I get to put on a cute outfit and get creative with the angles and stuff. I feel like my acne has been clearing up since I've been using these pads. I've been using these from the Ordinary brand too. They're both for acne and I feel like they have definitely Definitely been improving my skin so I'm really happy about that and this is the first time I've ever tried the ordinary brand I've seen them all over TikTok, but I'm always late to the game but better late than never this is what I'm gonna recreate I haven't tried it yet either so hopefully it goes well most of the hair tutorials I do I don't try them until I attempt to film them and sometimes it's just trial and error so Let's see if I can get it right. Shouldn't take too long, looks really easy. Yay, there are no hiccups with this hairstyle. Super easy, like I said, sometimes it does take me a lot longer, so I'm happy that this one literally took me like 15 minutes maybe. Um, but I'm going to edit this so I can post it today because I haven't posted a video today yet and my goal is to always post a video every day. I don't think I've skipped a day of posting in a year. I think I only skipped one day and it's because I was hungover. We're about to do our second adventure challenge. I love how you're using your Gatorade cap. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Me too. Pick a location to park where there is plenty of space, crank up the music and blast it with the doors open and the windows down. Have a limp lip sync battle in front of <laughs> What the heck? In front of the headlights as if they were a spotlight. Each person will lip sync two songs. <laughs> no. Okay. What you sign me up for? <laughs> One that you choose for yourself and the other the partner <laughs> chooses. After that, enjoy the rest of the night dancing together in the spotlight. Slow dance Aww. salsa. That's cute. <laughs> the sun doesn't set for another two hours, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss our lip sync battle. And make sure you're following me on all social platforms. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.